I am in motorcycle heaven. Well, what can explain being in the middle of so many BMW GSs? Well, I'll tell you, there are a hundred of these that have gotten here in Goa from all parts of the country only to be part of the BMW Motorrad India GS Trophy Regional Qualifiers. Now, the BMW GS Trophy is not a race but a highly technical competitive event where you are tested not just for your riding skill but also for your appetite for adventure and your ability to get along with the team. Now, I'm not here to participate but BMW does want me to have the entire GS experience so I've come prepared. You see, I've got these ridiculous boots on, I've got my motocross jersey and um, as a precautionary measure, if you haven't noticed already, I've also broken a tooth. Uh, just in case, you know. Alright, so don't get distracted with that graphic visual, let's just get on with this. To say the GS family of motorcycles has made a name for itself in the world of enduro riding and overland expeditions would be a massive understatement. And that's because the world's very first adventure tourer was, in fact, a BMW, the R80 GS, that is. About four decades later, these motorcycles almost micromanage your every riding input, working overtime to ensure your motorcycle and you stay upright most of the time. The GS Trophy, therefore, is not simply a fun get-together. It's a significant event celebrating one of the most iconic motorcycles we've ever witnessed. BMW Motorrad is of course present in over 120 countries but only 17 or 18 countries actually qualify to be part of this big grand finale that is going to be held in New Zealand this year and India happens to be the youngest country to be a part of the GS Trophy as well. Now only three contestants from this regional qualifier will actually make it to the finale and that means these aren't just the best GS riders you know, they are probably the best off-road riders we have as well. And what does it take to qualify as the best? More than riding skill or even fitness, it's all about mental resolve. With extremely high temperatures, riding challenges that you'd never come by in everyday life and roughly 200 eyeballs transfixed on you, the GS Trophy is not for those with stage fright. This is where it all begins. The riders basically start through here, go down here through about 10 different challenges that include riding over logs, riding through a puddle, riding over rocks and through gravel. A lot of tight U-turns as well. None of it is really high speed stuff. It's all very slow technical stuff which is actually more difficult given that these bikes on average weigh about 230 to 50 kilos. Now I've seen a few guys go around here and I'll admit I'd hate to be one of them. When my time arrived to ride the BMW 850 GS Adventure, I can't say I got off to a flying start. Despite BMW Motorrad implying it would be okay if I dropped the bike, which I did uh, thrice. The fear of crashing someone else's bike, that too, is just way too overpowering. And then there's the small matter of the skill needed to maneuver a motorcycle of this size over a course you can barely walk without falling over a few times. Or maybe I'm just making up excuses. That was one of the toughest things I've done on a motorcycle in a long, long, long time. I mean, I stalled the bike, I also fell off, which uh, somehow we haven't captured on video. I wonder why. But anyway, point is, it's extremely technical stuff and it's really hard to master given that these bikes are huge. And to think of it, if the regional qualifier is so tough, I actually dread to imagine what's going to happen in New Zealand. For once, I take it as good news that I'm not good enough to qualify. So what about the rest of the participants? Do we really stand a shot at taking home this all-important trophy, given what a huge challenge the GS Trophy is? What an amazing event the GS Trophy is. I mean, to think of the fact that Indian riders have only been riding these big GSs for the last few years, their riding level right now is just absolutely staggering. Now, of course, the big finale in New Zealand is going to be a lot tougher than this. But the truth is, we're at a good level and we might just win it. What's even more amazing is that BMW Motorrad India is actually encouraging GS owners to ride these bikes the way they're meant to be ridden. And to see these amazing machines in action being ridden so hard is just so fascinating. Although, on another note, if given a second chance to do it, uh, well, I would, uh, but I'll have to lose another tooth for it.